protests in the Muslim world. Joining me now is Rim Sarah Alouan, a French legal scholar and commentator specialising in religious freedoms here in France. Uh, Rim, thank you so much for your time. In your opinion, what is going to change in French society as a result of this legislation? What is it, hello, uh, what is going to change is uh, that uh, today, uh, when liberty is supposed to be the principle, today liberty is going to be the exception and restriction uh, the principle. Uh, this law, unfortunately, uh, contrary to what has been said, is not a counterterrorism law, counter law per se. It's a law that is reframing the relation between churches and state by using uh, French secularism, laïcité, uh, in order to, uh, to, to um, try to counter terrorism to, for security reasons. And unfortunately, uh, many of our civil liberties will be deeply affected, especially freedom of association, uh, freedom of education, especially homeschooling, as you mentioned, among others, and also uh, religious freedom by extending neutrality, uh, uh, by extending uh, the sphere of religious neutrality. So it is quite concerning, and I don't think most of these amendments will survive a constitutional test. And uh, it has been heard, particularly from the government, that they see it as a balancing act between acknowledging the diverse makeup of modern day France while ensuring that laïcité or secularist values are upheld. But in your opinion, this legislation is not so much of a balancing act, I understand. It is not really, it really is not really. From start, uh, first of all, uh, one community is uh, targeting. Uh, second, uh, we already have many laws that counter radicalization and terrorism. Uh, we are not really talking about it, but just yesterday, another counter terrorism law was adopted. So this law really is just aimed to allow the government to interfere uh, in religion and to interfere with uh, people's life, uh, using, for example, association as a conduit for the government to uh, impose their interpretation of laicity or their interpretation of what Republican values should be without even defining those values or without even defining what separatism is. So it is concerning. Rim Sar, uh, other one, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. In other news, the US has imposed sanctions on Cuba.